Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine 2.3. In this video, I'm going to talk about the VARS section of Chatbook. Chatbook is one of a number of different built-in story formats that come as part of Twine 2. We can change story formats when, viewing its passages, we go down to the Story menu, select Change Story Format, and then select the story format we want. For this video, I'll be using Chatbook right here selected and the current version as of this recording is 1.0.0. So with chatbook selected, if I click test or play, it will show me the chatbook visual presentation. I also get with chatbook the ability to use something called a VARS section. VARS is an abbreviation for variables. These are different values that we can define and use throughout our story. The VARS section is, it is, is a section of different passages, these little squares in the passages view, that allow us to define different variables, values, we want to use in our story to either make decisions or to show the user different information. We can define variables within this VARS section. So if I open up a passage by double-clicking it, I can get rid of this default text, and I can create a var section by using two minus signs or two hyphens. Anything above that within the same passage will be the part of the vars section, the variable section. Variables are defined by their name and their value. The name of a variable can be any combination of letters, numbers, the underscore, the dollar sign, and that's it. No other special characters and especially no spaces. So letters, numbers, the underscore, and the dollar sign. So for example, I've now defined a variable. This is its name. I want to give it a value, so I put a colon, and then I'm going to give it the value, the number nine. So I have a variable that has a name and it also has a value. So if I close editing this passage, and if I come down to test this time, notice Chatbook shows me what variables am I using? Oh, I'm using an example. What's its value? Its value is 9. So it has a name and it has a value. And Chatbook is helpfully showing when I test it what these variables are. So I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to add a second variable. So as part of the VARS section, I've defined a second variable, which again can be letters, numbers, the underscore, the dollar sign, and that's it. So no other special characters. So another right here. What's its value? Its value is the string high. A string is a combination of any characters, so any special characters, letters, numbers. It can contain spaces, but it has to be enclosed within quotation marks, either two either single quotation marks or double quotation marks as I have in this example. So this is a second value defined within the VARS section. As well, if I close editing this passage and go down to test, Chatbook will helpfully show me. What am I using? I'm using another high example value nine, both of which, both, both of which have both names and values. So for one last example, I'm now using the underscore, which I can use. The underscore is a character I can use with variable names. I could also use the dollar sign. So if I close editing this passage, come down to test, we see as well, there's the dollar sign. It's part of the name. So the dollar sign is allowed and the underscore is allowed, but spaces are not allowed. And of course, variables have names and values. So the value of this variable, which contains the dollar sign as part of its name, is the string, which is enclosed within quotations, C. Now, if I wanted to show the value of these variables that I've defined within the VARS section of a passage, I do that through using expressions. Expressions within Chatbook are enclosed in open and closing curly brackets and then the exact name of the variable I want to show. 
So if I wanted to show the value of the variable example, which I know has the value 9, I would, after the var section, so after the two hyphens or two minus signs, put in an expression, open and closing curly brackets around some variable name, right here. If I close this passage, I go down to test, we see the value 9, which we can verify over on the right hand side under variables, example, which is the name we showed, and its value 9. This is true of any variable. where I just place its name within the expression and I would get them both together. Notice these are put back to back because there's no spacing between them. If I wanted to introduce an extra space line, I would just introduce an extra space line. Coming back down to test, 9 and the string value C. Notice the value within it defined within the quotation marks. This has been a review of the VARS section within Chatbook. The VARS section can be the section of any passage defined with two, hyph two hyphens or two minus symbols, however you want to think about them. And then above that, within that same passage, from those to whatever the top of the passage is, can be defined different VARS or different variables. Variables, again, have a name and they have a value. The name of a variable can contain letters, numbers, the underscore, the dollar symbol, and that's it. Can't contain any spacious or other special characters. And we see when using the test option within Twine 2 that we can look at within Chatbook what the values and the names of those variables are and verify for ourselves. We can also have Chatbook show us within the passage what those variables are and their values by including them in expressions. Open and closing curly brackets within the expression itself to show us as viewing the story what those values are and when in development using the test option to check over on the right hand side. Thanks for watching.